I want to give a special thanks to the U.S. Navy for sponsoring this video. Well, good morning, neighbor. Hey, man, how you doing? One of these days, I'm going to have to invite y'all uh, to the yeah, Oh, we going to have chicken Ooh. and ribs. Lord have Thank mercy. You. It is hot as the devil toenails out there. Got to be about 100 degrees. Don't make no... What? What is that smell? What? Smell like a barnyard up in here. Did something crawl up in here and die? Lord have mercy. It can't keep nothing. To my, I, I just bought this rug. This rug cost me $40. You know what? That boy better have a good explanation. Dog, get in here! The smell is messing with my eyes. Don't make no sense. Can't even leave my house for 20 minutes without something going wrong. It's always something with that. What? Lord have mercy. What happened to my pillars? Did Wolverine come through you? That boy must have finally lost his mind. I, I tell you what, you want to test stuff up? I'm finna test something up too. I, oh, I forgot these are the wrong pants. Where my belt? No, I did something. Oh Lord, baby, talk to me. Who did this to you? Who did this to you, Lord? You're all right. I tell you what, me and Doug gonna have a long, painful conversation with your big brother. They gonna feel the wind from this woman all across the country. I promise you. I promise. Did that boy take a doo doo on my? I done had. I done had enough. That's it. That boy must think he a wild animal. <laughs> Dog, you, you listen to me when I tell you. You got point two five seconds to get down here. Before Where did the dog come from? All right, Pop, you know what to do. No sudden moves. If you don't mess with it, it won't mess with you. Ferocious beast, Dad, you talking about my dog? Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking You talking about your dog? You ain't got no dog. What? See, Dad, uh, that's what I want to talk to you about. Uh, I was wondering. If Hell no. No. N-O. Absolutely not. Come, come on, Dad. Can you just hear me out? I see there must be some kind of miscommunication going on. Maybe your brain going through a tunnel. So let me tell you one more time. N-O. No. Absolutely not. You take that dog back where it came from. You gon' get. Dad, listen, I got a plan. The plan has already been given on to you by me. You get rid of that dog. Dad, why can't we just keep it? Why can't we keep it? Open up your nostrils. Do you smell that? Look at my house. This dog ain't been here more than 30 minutes and then I already chewed up my carpet, ate up my pillows, pooped on my floor, and ate up my belt. That dog need to be trained. Okay, Dad, but listen, that's part of my plan. You dog. Dad, just hit me out one time. Uh, all right, all right, what, 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 what? What is it? Okay, so I did some research, right? And I found out that the U.S. Navy offers a variety of different careers, including an M.A. dog handler, or in other words, a master at arms dog handler. Okay, and you telling me this because... Dad, these people are trained to handle MWDs, which are military working dogs. They train these dogs to be able to sniff out drugs and weapons on ships, vehicles, buildings, all types of stuff. Dad, military dogs are some of the most well-trained dogs on the planet. They even use these dogs to guard the president. So, here's my plan, right? I made some calls. And they agreed to let me come out to San Diego for two days, right? And while I'm out there, they're going to basically train me on, like, what it's like to be an MA dog handler and give me some tips on how to train this dog. So, my question to you is, if I can train this dog to behave on my own, will you let me keep it? I don't know. How I know this dog ain't just going to snap and swallow me whole? You saw it just tried to eat me a few minutes ago. Dad, she was probably just trying to play with you. Look, look, look at that face. Doesn't look like she was trying to hurt somebody.
Yes, it does. You see them teeth? She got two rows of knives in the mouth. She'll rip you apart like a ham sandwich. Okay, okay, Dad. Yeah, she, she got sharp teeth. But I mean, she's super sweet. All she needs is a little bit of training. And what if you can't train her? Then what? Well, I mean, if I can't train her, I'll just find another home for her. Well, I, I guess I have always wondered what it'd be like to have a dog. So. Exactly. All right, all right. If, if you can train the dog not to chew up my stuff and, and to, to use the bathroom outside, then may, maybe I'll let you keep her. Yes. Okay, cool. Thanks, Dad. Uh-huh, yeah, whatever. Talk my sweet. You ain't fooling nobody. I got my eyes on you. Chewing on my stuff. Chew on this. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pack. Uh, hold on, you better get back here and clean this mess up. Oh, my bad, that's right. <laughs> and what you gonna do with this dog while you gone? It ain't staying here with me. Oh, uh, I'll see if one of my friends can watch it. All right. By the way, you can get down, Dad. You ain't gotta be scared. She ain't gonna do nothing. Ain't nobody scared. I'm just making sure the counter's sturdy. That's it. Yep. It's good. Okay. Right. Get no sense. Can't do nothing in my own house. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill here till they leave. That way I can keep my eye on everything. That's it. dog handler training. I'm a little nervous because I don't really know what to expect. And I'm I'm good with dogs, but like other people's dogs I be nervous about because like other people's dogs like I don't know that dog. So I mean we're gonna we gonna see how it goes. But anyway, we here and so now we just gonna I think the first day we here we just like exploring the city or whatever which I don't know what to expect man I don't know what y'all Cali folk about so basically I'm gonna keep y'all updated like I said the whole purpose of this is so that I can go home and tell Pops I learn how to train this dog so that he hopefully let me keep it. So y'all pray for me because I don't know hopefully hopefully things go well What's happening, family? Hey, so look, today is officially the first day. Um, I think, what time is it? I wanna say it's 5.59 right now. I have to meet everybody downstairs at 7.15. But basically, I think today we get to like meet everybody, meet uh, the dog handlers. We get to like walk the boats and all that stuff. So I'm a little nervous, like I said, just because I'm kind of new to it and I wanna make sure I'm doing everything right. I wanna make sure like they good. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, I, just, I don't know what to expect. So it's, kinda, it's different for me and then I'm excited, but I'm nervous. I also never gave y'all like a official hotel tour. So you come into the door right here, come into the door and this is the room. <laughs> This is the room. So you got a TV right there. The bed is here. All my camera stuff. That's me right here. So yeah, this is the entire, this is the room and then the bathroom is in here. Really, that's about it? I'm excited, man. So stay tuned, bro, because we're going to see what happens. <laughs> All right. What's happening, family? So as I mentioned before, we are in California and we are right now at Naval Base San Diego at the K-9 facility. And I'm here with my guy, MA1 Baker. Hey, how's everybody doing? I'm MA1 Baker. This is my military working dog, MW Fox. I'm here to show my man Daryl a couple tricks of the trade to help with his dog at home. So like, what exactly is this, bro? Like, what do y'all do here? Like, what can we expect? Currently, we're standing in the obedience yard. Out here is where we get our basics with our dogs. We'll teach you, we'll do the, go over the sit, stays, down. Some of our okay. requirements here on the, uh, at the facility. Uh, you'll see today, we got some obstacles shut up. So our dogs run through these obstacles. They are kind of like uh, what we use to like generalize different things. So you'll see uh, what we call the A-frame over there. Uh, we'll see the stairs. Hmm. Just kind of get them used to going through movements that way. Hopefully it translates over to when we're doing searches, if they have to hop over things yeah. or hop through things. Um, it kind of just helps them socialize and generalize that type of thing. Fox is what kind of dog? Fox is what we call a Belgian Malinois. I've never heard of that. Yeah, I, Belgian so it, Mal. That's very common. So we have some different common ones. You, as you see, we have German Shepherds, yeah. Belgian Malinois. We have small breed Jack Russell Terriers. You see a, a plethora of different things. What are the different jobs that you guys do? Because I've seen it to where they have dogs that guard the president. They got dogs that like guard ships. So like, what 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 jobs do y'all? do like so in terms as of a military dog handler you're subject to a bunch of different things uh typically what people may see on a day-to-day on when they watch tv is the deployment aspect of it yep. so some dogs get deployed out to different countries for a certain amount of time uh, we also like you said uh we protect high dignitaries whether that be uh, presidential details 
uh, vice presidents or any major dignitary that has to do with like the military. So we'll go out to different lo various locations. The dog will go out, we'll search whatever, wherever they're visiting, whether it be the hotel, whether yeah. it be the actual location that they'll be in. And then out of all the jobs, what's your favorite one you think? I personally like the, uh, the presidential details. Oh, okay. You go to some fun locations. That's official right there, boy. <laughs> yeah. And that's our opportunity as uh, handlers. We get to uh, actually put on civilian attire when we're out there, watch our polos and our khakis, and we look yeah. very official, you know? Yeah, yeah, And to see how it all operates, because, you know, we'd be so close-minded, we'd think like, oh, we're just out here for the dogs, but there's so much that goes into the whole job, so it's, it's definitely a good experience, I yeah. would say. Cool, so you mind taking us through the course with Fox? Oh, absolutely. So we'll take him through the course, show you what he's capable of, and I hope you get to enjoy what you see. For sure. No, let's do it. So what we're about to do now is called a ship sweep. Now, I'm not sure what a ship sweep is, so we're gonna ask MA1 Baker what a ship sweep yeah. is. So typically uh, what we'll do if we get a call to a ship or we have a scheduled inspection to do, we'll come on board a ship, search their required spaces, any compartments that they need searched, depending on what the nature of the call is. We'll work down the ship and uh, we'll have a spotter, somebody who's looking out for us as we search, okay. making sure there's no threats that we can encounter anything of that nature. So we're gonna walk Fox through here. Yeah. And so what are the places that people would, so, that would check, typically check for the most? The different jobs in the Navy, they all have their different space throughout the ship. So depending on where a certain type of people hang out, we get it. Sometimes ships get a lot of contract workers. So that means civilians coming on board the ship, kind of oh, okay. like fixing things in different natures. So we may have to go down to where they are because they are civilian. They're not, we're not too familiar. They get vetted, okay. but uh, just to, like clarity. So what are these ships primarily used for? So we have different classifications of the different ships. Some are used for this, uh, defense, some are used okay. for transportation. It just depends on where we're at. Um, you'll see some sh ships are larger than others. Mm -hmm. They house more people. So it's really just a variation. And we have a variation here at uh, Naval Base San Diego. We also cover dis different bases, such as uh, NAB Coronado. Okay. They, uh, they have ships aboard there. We just uh, stay flexible and try cool. to hit all the ships. Yeah. Dope, sounds cool, man. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. So we're gonna do again, we're doing a ship sweep. So, hey, I guess y'all just come with us. How do you know exactly when he's found something? Like, so he'll give us a passive response of a sit. Um, that's how I know that he's on like uh, an actual order and actually found something. Ah, okay, Other okay. than that, he'll kind of just we just look for subtle changes in his uh, search pattern. So. Sometimes he gets a little more hype, mm. and uh, we just gotta keep up the energy with him because we don't want to kill what we call their drive. Yeah. What is like the typical day in the life of an MWD uh, handler? Well, you're pretty much looking at it. A lot of it consists of training the dogs to kind of build their proficiency level, so making them mm. better at what they do. Uh, we get our, our inspections, our uh, searches, and you know, we just respond to calls. We're still military police at the end of the day. Yeah. So we're just military police plus one. Yeah. yeah. So then what would you say is your favorite part of the job? Oh, the independency. Really? We come in, we know what has to get done, we do it, and we do it together. We do it as a team. Uh, you'll see with security, if you get a chance to make it over there. Uh, it's structured. They also have to go out to their post, the designated post. We're all moving parts, um, so it's good. We have independency, we cover uh, a plethora of different installations, so mm. we're not just confined to here, and that's what I enjoy the most. Yeah. And outside of going out in town and doing the, the searches for the high dignitary, it's a lot of good look. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. pretty cool. So then, my last question would be, say there's a person that's watching this that wants to be a uh, NWD handler. Um, what are some requirements for it? So we typically like people, obviously, that kind of have a uh, notion for dogs, that like dogs. Yeah. Um, but the requirements, though, we have a test that we do 
uh, people that go to the fleet, which we call going to different bases, say they don't come in directly as the MW handler. Mm -hmm. They will find a local kennel near them to do kennel support. And that's kind of like us handlers, like we're doing today. I yeah. kind of teaching them the ropes, teaching them what goes into it. We also have a board that we schedule for them. And then we have to uh, have them study our instructions. So there's a lot of specifications that goes in becoming a, a dog handler a lot of things to know for when you do become a dog handler hmm. so it's the earlier we can get them the better now so the thing is right so i came home uh with a dog to my dad and he was like basically if i can't train it, i can't keep it i just need to know the simples as far as like how to make my dog like sit like lay down like this. so how do, how do i go about like teaching her to do that stuff oh absolutely so if i'm not mistaken you have a german shepherd at home yep german shepherd lab mix okay so they're very receptive to training some of the techniques that we use here is a lot of luring with our rewards so the the toy that i keep in my pocket most okay. dogs are trained on that it grabs a lot of their attention most of the time okay so this is what we use a lot of the times so if we're trying to teach a dog something new if we're trying to get them to focus back on us or redirect their energy towards something. So it'll look something along the lines of, I wanted to bring them into the heel, like heel. And see, I can kind of guide them into that. With different dogs, there's different techniques. With your dog, she may be want food, she may want snacks, she may want something else. A lot of the dogs are willing to work for something. It's always about finding out what they're wanting to work with and work for. So when you're teaching a dog something new, you want to reward them each time that they perform a task. Okay. So if I'm teaching him to sit, if I tell him sit, I want to, good. We got verbal praises and we got toy praises too. So uh, it's like the verbal is like that when you were a child and your teacher uh, gave you a sticker for doing a good job. Yeah. That's that, okay, that's motivating for me. I give him a little verbal praise, good, good. Let him know you're doing the right thing. If I give you another task, down. Good job. So if you're trying to teach a dog something new, I always have to come in with a positive attitude. You want to make sure that you find something that the dog is willing to work for because that toy that I put out of my pocket is like the dog's paycheck. Gotcha. So you wouldn't work for free. Nobody likes to work for free. Yeah. So the dogs also feel the same way. They want to do things and knowing that they're going to get paid to do so. Okay. Okay. Dope. Okay. So show me some. If I'm, I'm just, I'm new to this. Show me something I can go home and like teach my dog. I don't want to say right away, but something that wouldn't take that long. Like you want to start with the basis, like to sit or whatnot. Okay. So some of the interesting things you can do is you'll find a toy or a snack or some sort. You put it in your hands because they have to respect your hands, right? You can bring it in here. You be like, sit. You bring them up. Bring it over them. You see how you kind of guide them into that thing, and then you go down, down. And then now they're stead. So it's kind of like a guide. And then, like I said, if you wanted to bring them to your side, heel. And then like that. Same deal. Down. Good. And we always want to pay them to, uh, periodically just to know that they are doing a good job and that um, they earned it. I feel like I learned a lot, like, just from that by itself. I think I, think, I, think I got enough to, like, be able to go home and at least convince Pop Dog can keep this dog. I think the basics of sit, lie, and I think... After seeing like how you did it, I think I, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna like mock it. And I think I, I think I might be able to do that. Well, I think I might. you have my number. Anytime you need any reference or how you can better do something, give me a call. Don't be afraid to reach out. And sure. if I don't know it, somebody at the kennel, one of the guys I work with definitely knows. For sure. Hey, I appreciate you. Always, always, it, always. Yes, sir. Yo, so I just wanna say first and foremost, man, thank you so much for this. Like, again, this is my first time to the West Coast and to be able to experience this is dope. Like before we did this, I knew nothing about the Navy. I knew nothing about being a dog handler. And so I came, Wanted to learn like simple tricks for the dogs and I, I left with so much more. To see what y'all do on the back end, yo, it's, it's unbelievable. And it's truly amazing what you do, bro. Oh, so I just want to say I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you a lot, I man. I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to kind of give people some insight on what we do as dog handlers on the yeah. day to day. Hopefully we get to reach out to some sailors who possibly want to join the program and uh, just give everybody a little insight and give you hopefully some tips to the uh, trade to take home your dog. Most definitely, man. And sit. You want your ball? All right, and catch. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, all right, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. But tell me this, how do I know that dog ain't gonna use the bathroom in my house? Oh, watch this. <clears throat> Mila, go to the bathroom. See, I trained her how to not use the bathroom in the house. All right, well, I guess you did learn something out there, didn't you? Yeah, they really opened my eyes as to like just the different things you can do in the Navy and like how what they do on a daily basis protects us every day. So uh, a, a lot of respect was gained while I was there. All right, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <clears throat> also, uh, so remember you said that, you know, 
if I could train her, we could keep her. So, can we keep her? Oh. All right, all right, all right. I, I guess you can keep her. Yes! Thanks, Dad. You hear that, Mila? That means we are new owners and it's your new house to protect. Wait a minute, you already named her? What if, what if I wanted to name her? Oh, my bad, Dad, you had something in mind? Yes, I did. I, and, and, and I think her name should be, uh, Sidney, uh, uh, Sharkeesh, uh, Cardi, Megan, Mila. Me, her name, her name is Mila. That, that's her name. What? That, that's what I, I no, 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 it's too late. I already came up with it. That's her name. Her new name is Mila. I already came up with it. You can't too late to change it. What's your All right. Well, I'm going to go to my room. Yes, you do that. And it better be clean when I get back there. All right. I'm trying to take my name. Come on with him. What you look at? Thanks again to the Navy for sponsoring this video. If you want to watch me attempt to outsmart MN1 Baker and Fox, check out my Sailor vs. Challenge at America's Navy YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about what it's like to be a master at arms, visit SailorVersus.com.